ஓம் சாந்தி Today, the children everywhere have love emerged in them everywhere. Today, the children everywhere have love emerged in them in particular. Today, is the day of love from amrit vela onwards bab dada so everywhere Uh, so that everywhere whether in this land or in foreign lands in the hearts of all the children bab ke sane ki tasveer in the hearts of all the children the picture of love Our for baba baby was visible harik bachche ke sane ki so to tasveer in baba's heart to the children's love was visible was merged the day of today or today's day saneka simertika is called the day of love you also call it the day of remembrance today even before amrit vela saneke motyoki bab dada today even before amrit vela bab dada saw many necklaces of the beads of love of all the souls
and the children singing automatically from the heart my baba brahma baba meeta baba sweet baba and in the heart of pap dada the song being played was sweet children lovely children today inside everyone with all other powers the power of love was merged more in them this godly love srav sangam yog padi anbhut is experienced only at the confluence age this godly love this godly love jo anbhavi jane can be known only by the one who has experienced it this godly love makes every child an easy yogi naturally bab dada noticed sane that anubhav the experience of love bab dada noticed that the experience of love was a lot in all the children was a lot and lot in all the children the very basis of your birth 
is love. No child is there or Bab Dada oh, cannot Shania. see any child who is without Come this love. Other powers may be less comparatively but the love for the father or the love for those loving souls is, is in majority of the children which Bhaktada could see on the faces of majority of the children. What is, is it that has made you reach here? Particularly, in which plane have you come? Did you come in a train or did you come in a plane? From your faces, it is visible that all of you reached here, sitting in the plane of love. Did you? Uh, you may have come across many obstacles, but still you reached here in the plane of love. Today's day is called the day of, re of remembrance. But along with it being called the day of remembrance, it is also called the day of power. Today is also called the day of the coronation. Why? Because on this day Brahma Baba in particular Uh, 
on this day Brahma Baba in particular made uh, put the crown of world service on his wow. instrument children Brahma Baba himself became unknown and put the tilak of the awareness of world service on his children. He made the children become the doers and he himself became the one who gets it done. He gave he gave the blessing of may you be an angel like me and put on the crown of light on the children. And on seeing, and Bhaktata is happy on seeing how he has blessed the children and put on a crown as well as applied a tilak to them. On seeing how the children are carrying out the blessings they have received. So Bhaktada is also happy to see how the children are carrying out in action whatever blessings he has given to them. Whatever part you have played up to now and whatever part you have to still play in the future, for all that, Vishesh. 
for all that. Brahma Baba in particular is congratulating a great deal. So Brahma Baba is congratulating a deal a great deal for whatever part you have played up to now and also whatever part you're going to play in the future. And he says, Wah my children, wah, how great my children are. Baba also went on a tour of foreign lands and what did he see there? He saw that every child was absorbed in love. Or merged in love. Whatever powers you have received from the Father, but as this day is the day when you get the blessing of powers. It's a day for receiving the blessings, uh, re receiving the blessing of powers through the love. Bab Dada noticed that Bab Dada noticed that some children were fully absorbed in love and also completely absorbed in seva, in service and they also experience very good stage at Amrit Vela. They also experience the stage of being bodiless.
Satyam Karam Yogi. However, when it comes, uh, when the time comes to become a karma yogi, that is a, a yogi in action, then both the tasks, the task of a yogi as well as the task of actions, They are not able to combine the both together. A little difference is created. They do make the effort that that they should be able to balance between karma and yoga. However, Just as they experience a very powerful stage at Amrit Vela, they are not able to experience the same whilst coming into actions. They have to work very hard on that. And Bab Dada has told all the children that the destruction of the world will happen suddenly. The destruction of the world will happen suddenly. So, if instead of having attention throughout the day, and so instead of having attention throughout the day, if there is any inculcation of virtue lacking and, and you are not able to stay in the stage of a karma yogi, Then that difference will be created. Bab Dada will not announce the day of destruction. But Uh, but before you uh, 
uh, before that do you know when will be your date of this life finishing does anyone know when i will die can you know on which date you will die does anyone know that those who say they know when they'll die raise their hand <laughs> they raise their hand those who those who say they know when they will die and nobody raises the hand it have been suddenly doesn't it anything can happen suddenly sometimes it uh, nature becomes the reason for death and you see so many die together but we're talking about when earthquake takes place how so many die at the same time or when flood comes or any cyclone comes so, so many die at the same time so so to remove it from your head that uh, what when will the date of destruction be because so that uh, because you should not become careless in this see chakatamba your jagatamba mama kasalogata she always would say she had a slogan and she would say never say any other time but say now anything can happen tomorrow but i have to become ever ready so has everyone that much attention towards this type of preparedness are you that much prepared have you finished or settled all your karmic accounts chari subject yoga all the four subjects seva. knowledge yoga dharma and seva in all these four subjects aisi tyari 
have you or are you that much prepared are you that much prepared in all the four Stop. subjects that we are the cover up there is complete a total unlimited disinterest that there is the experience of total unlimited disinterest distaste have you checked this have you checked this here baba means to say that i and my you know and sometimes we have so that i should be completely away from have you checked in your heart that whether i am ever ready whether i have finished all attachments and am in the awareness of only one have you checked yourself in this why papa is saying this because Brahma Baba himself made the effort and made himself ever ready which the experienced children saw of him saw in him that how no one ever said oh, there wasn't any vibration that oh that baba there wasn't any vibration any sound any awareness that baba would leave the body nobody even dreamt of it or thought of it but because brahma baba was ready he was prepared for that he had already attained the stage of body lessness and therefore he could fly out of the body and and go beyond in a second but he as he was totally beyond any pulls any attachments but did he have any any attractions no he became an angel in a second bachoko friste banane ka dilakte gaye 
he gave the tilak to the children for becoming an angel. The reason why he could do this was that he had the practice of being bodiless for a long time. There are many experienced children who, who stayed with him. They used to experience how Baba would be one moment performing actions and the next moment how he used to become bodiless so easily. So the difference between karma and yoga, you know, the difference which is created between karma and yoga, the reason for that is the reason for that is Whilst performing the karma, the awareness is not in the emerged form. That I am a soul. And that, uh, well, I am a soul, where knowledge of that is concerned, everyone knows. I am a soul. Everyone has this knowledge of the soul, but then which type of soul am I? I am the soul who is getting everything done through the body. These sense organs of mine are the doers and I am getting the actions done through these sense organs. This is the consciousness which is needed in order to be a good karma yogi. Brahma Father, he was in that stage of Karavanhar getting actions done through his body. Although and also whilst performing actions through the sense organs, he had that awareness, I am the master of my sense organs, I'm seated on my seat and getting the actions done through the sense organs. So if someone is seated on his seat of higher consciousness, then, then all the sense organs will work accurately but for that one has to be seated on his seat if someone is not seated on his seat then no one will listen to him he has to be seated on his seat to give orders then everyone will listen to him similarly i am the one who is getting it done through my sense organs. My sense organs are the Karanhars, the ones which are doing, and I am the one who is getting them done. Yes, 
you heard Brahma Baba's experience too, didn't you? That at the beginning, how Brahma Baba practiced this every day. Every day at night too or at the end of the day or even before Baba got this gyan, every night he used to he used to hold the coat of his sense organs. The old children have seen that diary of how Baba used to write in this diary about uh, his experience of how he held a coat every day of his sense organs. And as a Karavanhar, as a master of his sense organs, he used to ask his courtiers his sense organs, how the whole day went. He would take their news, how the whole day passed, of how the whole day passed. So that much attention Baba gave on himself at the beginning. Brahma Baba paid attention to himself in this way. Similarly, you have to consider yourself to be a Karavanhar, the one who gets done, because the soul is the king. And these sense organs of mine are my helpers. So you should check that on this day on this day today my mind, intellect, sanskars, my nature, you miss a sanskar or nature, how they are, how they behaved during the whole day. And then when you check in this way, then Then the, then the sense organs become attentive because they come to know that our king will ask us how we are. Therefore, the soul should become the king. And as a Karavanhar, the one who gets done should ask the sense organs how they are working and in this way check the self. Otherwise it is noticed that many children otherwise many children say We do order our sense organs. But again, they go against the orders against. Something wrong happens. We do make the effort. But then some sanskars or some nature does not uh, 
do not follow my orders. What is the reason for that? The reason is that you are not seated on the seat of your self-respect at that time when you give the order. Without sitting on the seat, that one, even if he orders, nobody will listen. So the mind will not listen to you if you are not seated on the seat of your self-respect. Therefore, whilst performing actions, become a sit on the seat of a master as a karavanhar, the one who is getting the actions done. Some children, when they have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Baba, they say, Baba, you have made me master all mighty authority, not just powerful, but master all mighty authority because Baba has given this blessing of Master Almighty Authority to every Brahmin child right at the time of his spiritual birth. Do you remember? Do you remember the blessing you received at the time of your spiritual birth? Every child have Has everyone has been blessed by the father at his the time of his birth that you are a master almighty authority who gave you this blessing the almighty authority himself gave you the blessing that you are master almighty authority but then Many complain that, Baba, we are not able to experience that power which we need at that time. It does not obey my order. The children complain this to Baba. So why does this happen? Why doesn't the power obey you when you invoke it? when you already have received the blessing from the Almighty Authority Himself that you are Master Almighty Authority, could there be anyone else, anyone greater than the Almighty Himself to, um, to give you this blessing? So, if you seat yourself on the seat of a Master Almighty Authority, it can never happen that you order a power and that power doesn't obey you. On one hand, the soul is the master. It is, it already has received the blessing of all powers. So you seat yourself on that seat as a master because it's your blessing. You've already received that blessing. And then with the awareness of that blessing and being seated on the seat of that awareness, order the power. Shakti. 
And if you do that, then it is impossible that the power does not obey you. Because on one hand you have the blessing, on the other hand you have the right to the father's property. The powers are the father's property and you have a right over them. And also you have the blessing of them. At the confluence age you receive both these things the blessings as well as the authority you receive this title don't you that you are master almighty authority this is your title is it not but the only thing is that you don't stabilize yourself in that stage even if you do it is not it is not continuous it is not constant it is only sometimes this word sometime Sometimes should be deleted, erased from your Brahmin dictionary. It should be available right now whenever you want it. You tell Baba, don't you? Baba, we remember you and you come immediately. You become available immediately, is it not? You have the experience of it, that you call Baba and Baba comes immediately to your help. So everyone raising their hand. Yes, you all are raising your hand, that you have this experience how Baba comes to you immediately. The moment you invoke Him, Baba appears in front of you. So the Master appears in front of you. So these powers, what are they? These powers, they too are the property you have received from the Father. Is it not? So become a master and order these powers. You don't order them as a master. Uh, what you do is, you, you try to order it thinking that maybe you have, you, you, you have lost that power. So you're not a master at that time, and then how will the power obey you? So, what does Pap Dada want from you? What does Pap Dada want from you now? You know it, don't you? Bab Dada wants that every child of mine, each and every child of mine, whilst performing actions, should become a king child, a kingly child, and claim self sovereignty. Do not leave your seat of self-sovereignty. A king is, uh, is king all the time, is it not? Or is it that he is sometimes a king and sometimes he is not a king? Whether he sits on the throne or doesn't sit on the throne, that's another thing, that sometimes he doesn't sit on the throne. But even when he's at home, it's not that he forgets that he's a king, does he?
therefore, be a be a karma yogi and have the true state uh, and have a true stage. So uh, to be a karma yogi means to be a yogi as well as to perform actions. The difference should not be there between the two. They should go together. You, who are you? You are world benefactors. You are world transformers. And therefore, that and therefore Baba wants that each one of you should be a king all the time in every action be seated on the seat of a self-sovereign and do your action see today in today's world people are people do so much just to have a seat is it not just uh, in, in, they work so hard in order to take their right they don't want to leave their right So you too should claim your godly rights. Who are you? Who am I? Whatever work you do, whenever you do, every time, whilst performing your action, whilst performing the action, you fix your time the timetable of your mind as well. Fix in your timetable what your self respect will be when performing any action. Today what aim I will keep in my mind whilst performing any action. Decide that in the morning itself. You have the list of all uh, of the different titles of your self-respect, is it not? So you have a long list and therefore every day take one, one self-respect. Just as you fix your timetable for the whole day, what you will do during the day, similarly fix the timetable of your mind as well, what consciousness you will keep the whole day. Just as you know what you have to do during the whole day, similarly along with that, give work or set the timetable of your mind as well. What title am I going to become aware of today? What self-respect will I keep today? So make the timetable of your mind as well. Do, do you know how to make a timetable? Mothers, do you know how to make a timetable? Mothers, make your own program yourself. Okay, you are cooking for example. So whilst cooking, what self-respect should be emerged in the intellect? It's a long list 
of different titles of of self respect is like a big necklace of them that if you keep on counting the number of your self respect and uh, you know there will be no end so just keep counting and 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 become part of the rosary of self respect also along with that there is need to have the practice of that for a long time some children say to baba baba there are no signs of destruction at all visible also the date is not fixed and we'll do it it will happen this is carelessness this is carelessness even when it comes to giving message you are the world benefactors but some children say there's still lots of time left i'll give baba's message little bit later but baba says no because those who will get the message later on they will then complain to you you know what they will complain to you they will say why didn't you tell us earlier then we would have done something why didn't you tell us earlier you have to you are telling us now when everything is coming to an end why didn't you tell us earlier so they will complain to you therefore recognize the time and keep the message because at the end those who uh, because those have already received the message and they don't pay attention then they will at the end not blame you but they will say god you came and we were careless now we know we can't do anything so give them the help they are waiting for that they are looking for your help you are all heirs aren't you those who think that we are heirs of baba raise your hand all of you are baba's heirs yes baba is looking around they are all raising their hand that we are baba's heirs okay if you are baba's heirs if you are baba's heirs then you want to claim full inheritance or only a part of the inheritance all of you will say full inheritance won't you so if you want full inheritance what is that inheritance it is the inheritance for complete 21 births complete births 21 births right from the beginning of golden age till the end of silver age come in, in the royal family not as subjects but coming in the royal family that is full inheritance to be part of the king's family because only one will sit on the throne yes a couple will sit on the throne that's all but then in, you can come in the royal family because in golden age whenever a court is held whenever whenever, whenever a court is held then the instrument souls of the royal family all of them when they sit in the court they also have a crown no one sits in the royal court without the crown everyone has a crown on his head and each one also gives his own his own advice it's not that 
only one will will uh, rule but the others also do give their advice the others in the royal family to give their advice therefore if you want to take complete inheritance if you want to claim complete inheritance then then you should be able to claim that from the very first birth until the last birth complete 21 births and you won't die in between there won't be untimely death also therefore you have to take complete inheritance or are you happy with little inheritance only your mateshwari mamma jagatamba always kept the aim that that whatever shrimat bab dada has given whether it is for the mind for words or for actions whatever shrimat baba has given to me that i have to do it come what me i have to do it so those who are to take the full inheritance they should keep this aim in their intellect that they have to that anything can happen suddenly and for that they have to be ever ready and also do it for a long period of time so ever ready suddenly and long period of time remember these three words these three things all of you are babas lambs of hope and to all the lambs of hope bab dada's blessing is kisada ye tino shabd yaad rakhkar remember these three three points these three words suddenly ever ready and long period of time and show the uh, become a practical proof of being a lamp of hope bab dada noticed that uh, the children have have made different types of courses it is good bab dada is congratulating you but according to the time instead of just the course let it be the force of the course give the course with so much force give the course with so much force that those children whom you give the course to they say you can't even 
don't become only loving and cooperative but they should also be strong so that they are able to follow every shri mat so serve them with that force also and they become souls with that force in them whomever you give codes to and they come become close jewels can this be possible so you have to give the do uh, put the force in the course because bab dada is seeing that how that nature has already started coming into upheaval this is this is why nature through its upheaval is showing its impact and it will show more and more that which you have never dreamt of of or not even thought of those will be witnessed such things will happen or which you may not even have dreamt of or thought of you also have to make nature sato pradhan at this moment nature is is using its own influence and this is why from time to time new things are happening in nature different calamities are coming because it is showing its influence but all of you are heirs aren't you you are not just loving and cooperative you are heirs that is the ones who are to claim full rights and you that are you heirs or not you are heirs and you all of you are heirs baba is looking this side towards the double foreigners are all of you heirs double foreigners baba see you all of you are heirs to no raise your hand if you think you are heirs yes baba is happy to see you you have to claim full inheritance too isn't it not incomplete or half inheritance what about the pandavas you want to claim full inheritance don't you yes all of you are the lamps of hope of bab dada to 
Therefore, Always remember that on this day of remembrance, every child every child whether those who live here or those who have come here or and also those who are far away in physical distance but all of you are merged in the father's heart to everyone bab dada gives banana or banana um gives bab dada what whatever bab dada says you have to obey that i will i will never use the word sometimes but i will say now who has seen tomorrow as well it should be today whatever i have to do i have to do it i don't have to think about it if i think about it that i will do it later on it will happen one day children give this type of consolation to baba baba don't worry i will surely do it it will be okay at the right time but what bab dada wants is that if a test comes at this time or at any time a test comes every child should full pass fully in the test can it be possible can uh, you all want to pass fully is it not can you pass fully whenever any test comes at any time okay all the first timers they stand up all the first timers stand up all the first timers are standing up to all the first timers to all the first timers bab dada is is congratulating you congratulating you congratulating you and giving you the blessing that may you become an intense effort maker to aage se aage and move forward as much as you can become an intense effort maker and move forward as much as you can if you want it to take a practical form baba is giving you the blessing you can move forward to the extent you want therefore to all the first timers baba is giving you the good news that you can move forward as much as you want though you have come last but you can go fast and come first eat this dil khush mithai happy heart tole eat this happy heart tole
बाप दादा इज हैप्पी दैट यू हैव कम बिफोर द साइन ऑफ टू लेट बोर्ड इज पुट अप बाप दादा इज हैप्पी अबाउट दैट दैट यू हैव कम बिफोर द टू लेट बोर्ड इज पुट अप and if you move forward all of us everyone the seniors to everyone will be very happy nobody will say why you move forward and why not us no first you okay you may sit down did you eat the happy heart toli happy heart sweet दिल खुश हैप्पी हार्ट ओके वॉट इज टू बी डन नेक्स्ट एंड मुनी बेन स्टैंड अप टू अनाउंस दैट दिस टाइम इंदौर जोन ओम प्रकाश भाई इंदौर जोन इंदौर जोन ऑल इंदौर जोन स्टैंड अप ओम प्रकाश भाई एंड इज ग्रुप ओम प्रकाश भाई कमला बेन ऑल दीज आर टीचर्स इंदौर द मीनिंग ऑफ इंदौर इन साइड the line indoor inside the line the one who is within the line to bab dada ko hare son ki seva ka hoga utsade seeing how every zone has so much enthusiasm when it comes to serve you know, but that is happy to see it so on and everyone serves with so much love each one takes the responsibility with so much love too because you know you get the fruit of the service you do what fruit you get sabiki ashirwad what fruit you receive you receive the blessings of everyone whom you serve people in the world say that when they feed one lokik brahmin it's a great charitable act but then you how many brahmins you feed they say to feed one brahmin is a big charitable act so and you feed so many brahmins so how many charitable acts you do and all are true brahmins whom you serve whom you feed you serve them food you cook for them did you eat the fruit of your service did you that is earn charitable acts in your account so you become strong having to you. you become healthy by eating fruit it is good har sun mein dekha gaya ki sankhya bab dada has noticed that in every zone the quantity is increasing because expansion is taking place everywhere 
so quantity is increasing but bab tata has told you earlier that quantity is increasing this is very good it means that the message is going is uh, is keep being given more and more so you get the message and you come and belong to baba it's very good and therefore congratulations for that but along with that according to the present time Bhaktada has told you earlier as well that you have to create heirs Why is Baba saying that you have to create heirs? Because Baba will then take the test too. First you give their names, then Baba will will test them whether they really are air quality souls or not. To what extent they are air quality souls, Baba will test that. How far they are fulfilling their stage of being in air and also bab tata has told you second thing that experienced well known souls whose experience people here and uh, feel enthusiasm in them and think that we also should become like these people those mic quality souls should emerge as well you have to prepare them to mic quality souls whose one word can be so effective that many feel that they also should do that or become like that have you done that job that task has indoor done this task of creating these two types of souls air quality souls and mic souls mic quality souls air quality souls has indoor done this task and uh, baba saying the list from indoor zone hasn't come to baba yet of who are the air quality souls and who are the mic quality souls acha fir bhi okay baba baba chatisgarh ki sari government madhuban aayi hum he saying baba the whole government of chatisgarh state came to madhuban and now they are serving the country so many mics came together and many other uh many others are coming forward and becoming good mics it is good baba is saying it is good all those who are standing all belong to indoor it's a big number okay Baba has one special hope in all those of indoor because it was Baba Dada himself before he before Brahma Baba became avyakt it was on Baba on Baba's wish 
that Indore Center was opened. In 1968, Indore was opened because Bhaktada said that there should be a center in Madhya Pradesh, Indore. So, before Baba became aware, the center was open in Indore, and therefore Baba is saying, Indore has to do something now which is unique and very lovely that Indoor has to do now. All the zones are doing very good effort. Bhaktada keeps receiving the news of all the zones. But then, whatever uh, wish Bhaktada has, that every that which zone is going to become a zone free of all obstacles that Bhaktada wants to see. On the amount of centers you have or sub centers you have. But every center, every place should be free of obstacles. And everyone in the center should experience a wave of intense effort. There should be a wave of intense effort in all the students, all those who come to the center. In that also, indoor should take number one. Up to now, no one, no zone has claimed that it is number one. That whole zone, whole region is free of obstacles. Yes, they are making effort, that is good. Everywhere, whether it's even a Gita Parshala, that too should be free of obstacles. This report Bhaktada wants from every region, every zone in India. In India we have 14 zones. So Baba is talking about those different zones in India. Okay, you may sit down. Baba medical wings wale hai. Medical wing is doing it. Me is meeting. Medical wing is doing its meeting. How many doctors are in this wing? The doctors raise their hand. So many doctors in this wing. Bhap Dada. Why is Bhap Dada saying this? Because from time to time the job of doctors is going to increase. The service of doctors is going to increase. Because in the present time, stress, 
fear is spread everywhere. And the doctors here must be double doctors too. So all the doctors again raise your hand. Those are now double doctors, all other doctors too. The doctors of the body as well as of the mind. Because nowadays the disease of the mind will increase more and more. This is why the service of double doctors will increase even more now. Because of the upheavals in nature, new diseases will erupt. Therefore, at such a time, there is need of double doctors. So, are all of you ever ready, wherever you are called? Will you be able to give your service there? Those who can give their service wherever they are called, they raise their hand. And they are raising their hand. It is good. Note their names and give me. <laughs> because invitations keep coming, don't they? So you have to spare time. Will you be able to spare time? That any time you are called, you can come raise your hand. Those who can come any time they are called, raise their hand. There are less sisters raising their hand, more brothers are raising their hand. Because the sis sisters are running centers, is it? There are sisters too. So note their names and give to Baba, who can be available whenever they are called for service. Baba Dada praises the doctors. <laughs> the doctors are happy. Why does Bhaptada praise the doctors? Because even the doctors, like Bhaptada, they take away the sorrow and give happiness. Like Baba takes away sorrow and gives happiness. But then they do it for a little period, for a short period, and Baba gives for for a long, for forever. So you are double. In, so the so Baba said, if you become double doctors and spare time for seva for service, then then in the future. So then <laughs> Bab Dada has heard that doctors don't have time to spare because they're so busy. But in spite of being busy, you can do a very big service. Bab Dada has told you earlier as well that uh, Every doctor makes his own card. No, you all have a card, don't you? In, in which your introduction is there. So on one side of the card is your introduction, but on the, the other side is blank. So 
on that blank side, the other side of your card, you can also you can write uh, write the address of of uh, write the address and say that here you can come to to treat your mind. So you can write the center's address and uh, maybe your, your home address too and they can come to you and you can serve their mind as well. Because everyone will accept what the doctor says. If somebody else says something, he may not accept. But then, uh, and somebody else will say, don't eat this till he'll eat. But if a doctor says, that you should not do this, then he, then the patient will accept. Whether he does it reluctantly or does it with love, but the patient will do whatever the doctor tells him. This is why Bap Dada says, doctors can do a lot of service. And it is good. It is seen that that you keep on doing programs, but then uh, you should increase the speed of your programs. You should do more and more. The doctors from the different zones should make a program in their own zone to that you all come together and do the programs in your zone. Then you can do a lot more service. Bhaptada thinks that the service of doctors is very essential because diseases are going to increase more and more. Diseases of the mind are everywhere. They are spread everywhere, diseases of the mind. Therefore, because of your occupation of a doctor, people will obey you, whatever you say. Bhaptada likes it very much. The service being done by this wing should be increased more and more. Okay, you may sit down. Baba, double, Videshi, bhai, double foreigners are also sitting here. Muli Ben, all of you please stand up. More than 300 double foreigners here. Nearly 350, 400. Double foreigners have come from many countries. And Baba is looking around, seeing all the double foreigners. From how many countries they have come? From 40 countries. From 40 countries. Today they have come also to celebrate the ceremony, you know, 18 January, Day of Remembrance. They have come to celebrate. Bhapta is happy that that in order to celebrate this ceremony of 18 January, you all came to Tower of Peace, so that was a spell. Raise your hand. Those who came specially for 18 January celebration, keeping that in mind, all of you raise your hand. That celebration of 18 January you wanted to do. Yes. So what ceremony, whose ceremony is it? 
So two hands you should raise. Two hands you should raise. It's your ceremony as well as Brahma Baba's ceremony. I think that's it's very good. I was speaking to some guests also. You took a good chance of coming to Abu, of doing this pilgrimage of Abu. I was speaking to some guests. Because Bab Dada Oh, there are some Sindhis there. Baba is talking to them. They have come from abroad. So Baba is saying, Shiv Baba descended in the body of Brahma in, in Sindh. So those of Sindh, they think it is their right that Baba was also from Sindh and that we are from Sindh too. It is good. This also is a good method. You know, there's one brother who has brought many Sindhis from foreign countries. So, Baba speaking to that group. Baba is congratulating you. Did you like it? You liked, this is your home, you liked your home, didn't you? You must have noticed here that in this, in Madhuban, nowhere anyone's name is written. Why? Because this is the father's home. You are the children of the father. Where you have come, you have come to your own home. Even this one has come, hasn't he? The Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, he is standing, he's sitting there. The Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. I was asking him, where have you come? You have come to your own home, your own family. Bab Dada is saying that politics and spirituality, if both of them come together, if they meet, then whatever desire Bapu Gandhiji had that they should be Ram Rajya, then if you combine spirituality with politics, then then Bapu Gandhiji's uh, desire of Ram Rajya can be fulfilled easily, and and you are doing that. Bap Dada is happy to see that. That now, even the politicians are coming closer. All the three powers, the powers of power of science, power of of spirituality, and power of politics, power of governance. If all these three come together, and have one thought, one aim, they help each other, then we can fulfill 
Bapu Gandhiji's wish of Ram Rajya and also the wish of the father of Bapu Gandhiji, God himself, we can fill the, fulfill the hopes of both. So that too can be possible. Okay, double foreigners. In foreign countries, different types of services are happening and will continue to happen more and more. Bhaktada observed. Bhaktada noticed that children are making new plans more and more for expanding service and also doing uh, giving them a practical shape more and more those in foreign countries they if they they are serving those uh, serving people of india by sharing their experiences in front of them and those of india are sharing their experiences with the foreign children and thereby spreading Baba's sound in this land as well as other lands. Even now a program is being held, Call of Time program is being held in, going to be held in Chennai and Dadi Janki is leaving on the 22nd of January for Chennai. There's a program on 23rd, 24th, 25th, so Baba's referring to that. So everyone, children have sent letters to Bhaktada, all those have sent letters to Bhaktada. They have sent service news too, so wherever you start, service anyway the beginning it is due and then it expands now the time is such that everyone thinks that we are in need of spirituality of course the power of religion is there but power of religion is different from the power of spirituality so although power of religion is there, but then whatever it wants to do, it cannot do. Therefore, everyone has begun to wonder where are we lacking. So the three powers are working, power of religion, power of politics, and power of science, all the three are working, but then whatever we want that we are not able to achieve. So what is the reason? They are not sure yet. And uh, they want to do something, but then they give the excuse that they don't have time. They don't have time. They say, we don't have time, we don't know what to do. So, if one or two groups uh, make themselves cooperative, then it is Bhaktada's blessing that Bharat will definitely become heaven. Bharat will definitely become heaven. The hopes of both the fathers, Shiv Baba and Bapu Gandhiji, their hopes will be fulfilled. Therefore, the, those from abroad, they are helping through the mind, and they, Bhaktada has 
has noticed that everywhere expansion is taking place of all religions it's not only the hindus are increasing but even the muslims are increasing the buddhists are increasing everywhere expansion is taking place even the christians are increasing everywhere gradually oh expansion is taking place but also baba means to say they are taking interest towards spirituality the interest towards spirituality is also increasing before people used to be afraid even to hear the name brahma kumari they would say these brahma kumari talk only about destruction and destruction nothing else now they say tell us tell us when will destruction take place and how will destruction happen and what should we do for that they are asking the brahma kumaris well it has to happen that is guaranteed destruction has to happen it is guaranteed aap sabko guarantee hai na all of you have the guarantee too don't you even those from foreign countries or those from india all of you have the guarantee don't you that that your crop uh, that destruction will happen and your help is there the destruction has to happen you can clap so it's a sure happiness that destruction means the change is to come and bharat is to become heaven so the help of all the double foreigners is also there to make bharat a heaven is it not Oh, it's been clapping for so long. <laughs> Enough. Okay, okay. Sabiko <laughs> bhagat. Everyone is very enthusiastic that all of us are helping Bharat to become a heaven. Not thinking of destruction because we don't do destruction, but then our aim is to make Bharat a heaven, and. Uh, and all the instrument souls whether they are the pandavas or the shaktis both of you have the zeal and enthusiasm but then the signal which pap tata has given now that we that you have to make your effort into intense effort not just effort alone but intense effort the time to make effort only is gone now the time is for intense effort and you should not hold yourself to the word sometimes but say now i have to do it now i have to become now and then it is bound to happen okay you may sit down those of calcutta they have come and calcutta they brought flowers from all the way from calcutta see so many of them flowers by flight uh, flight they brought all the flowers in other ways they may be there away if they bring in the train so they brought with the flight bapta da so that they decorate with the you know from the heart actually it's not a big thing to decorate there are people who can do even better in the world but then you do it with so much love because you have love for the father you have recognized the father 
though some have little recognition because many outside people have also come who are clever in doing the decoration of flowers. They have also come. So Baba saying, it's not just working physically, but the love for Baba is most in that. And where there is love, There, everyone likes the fragrance of that love. They come, you come every year. You think it, you don't think it to be a duty alone, but you think that it is your task, and therefore you do it with love. So congratulations to you, congratulations. And you two are instrumental ones who are f instilling zeal and enthusiasm in them, the two sisters, Madhuben and uh, two sisters from Calcutta. So whenever the Day of Remembrance comes, 18 January, then Calcutta is, Kolkata is remembered. They come specially for 18th of January. Con Congratulations. Okay, you may sit down. Okay. to all the intense effort makers everywhere who move forward, who take forward every step with zeal and enthusiasm, who do this from their heart On their foreheads, Bhaktada is seeing the tilak of victory. Bhaktada is seeing the tilak of victory on the forehead of such souls. All of you have the faith and the intoxication that we are the victorious ones, we were victorious, and we will continue to stay victorious. This is why on the forehead of each one of you, Bhaktada is seeing the tilak of victory on each one's forehead. Everywhere, all of you are very loving too. Today, from Amrit Vela itself, Bhaktada received so many garlands of love. And in return, Bhaktada blesses you. In, in return, Bhaktada puts a garland of victory round your neck. The children everywhere are watching this because science. has given all these facilities for all of you. The children everywhere are able to see what is happening in Madhuban. Wherever they may be, in any part of the world, 
they are able to see as well as listen. So Bhaktada is also seeing them, how children everywhere, they are watching Baba and also listening to Baba. So on this day, Bab Dada, on this day of the day of remembrance and power, Bab Dada is giving love and remembrance to all the children everywhere. Every child is merged in Bab Dada's heart. And in every child's heart, Ba Baba is merged, is it not? In every child's in every child's heart, Baba is merged, and Baba's heart, every child is merged, and therefore, congratulations, congratulations, along with congratulations, also Namaste, salutations.